Seven Days Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC, Lions Den Boxing Community. For those who don't know, now you know. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share the video. So, Showtime dropped the last episode of All Access featuring Javante Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia. It showed highlights of the match and a little behind-the-scenes uh, coverage. And one thing was revealed was the rumor is actually true. Um, those of you remember that after Ryan suffered his uh, loss to uh, Javante Tank Davis, there was a, spar a lead sparring partner, <clears throat> an Asian fighter, that came out and said that he injured Tank during sparring. And, uh, uh, excuse me, injured Ryan Garcia during sparring, allegedly stopped him. And that's why Tank Davis was saying uh, in the buildup to the fight during the press conferences, he was asking Ryan, did you get stopped in sparring? Did you get spot? And he was saying how he had spies in his camp, in uh, Ryan's camp. All right. And for those of you who don't remember, here we go. Hey, King Ryan, in sparring, I injured you with the body shot. Now you lost to Tank. I am sorry. Are you okay? All right, so y'all get it, right? This is this guy, uh, um, the goofy guy. Now, he was claiming he injured Ryan Garcia. Um, we didn't know if that was true or if that was just some hype, mental games, whatever. But during the All Access, when Ryan went down, he came back to the corner after quitting. When he came back to the corner, Joe Goose and his trainer said to him, did he hit you in that, <clears throat> in that rib spot? And um, Ryan said, yeah, he did. And Joe Goosen said something to the effect of, yeah, that's what I figured. <clears throat> All right, so they're insinuating that Ryan had a rib injury going into the Javante Tank Davis fight, okay? Uh, so I guess that was true, you know what I mean? Um, they also revealed, Ryan Garcia revealed that he did quit. Indeed, he said that he didn't want to continue. It wasn't that he couldn't continue. He said out of his own mouth he didn't want to continue because of his rib. OK, so maybe Ryan was um, trying to preserve himself or he figured he didn't want to do more damage to the rib. He didn't want Tank to, to, to you know, completely break the rib or whatever. All Access also revealed a few other things. <clears throat> Talked about they showed Javante Tank Davis behind the scenes after the knockout. And um, Tank was in the locker room talking to some friends and family. And he was Tank looked like he was completely shocked. At, at how slow Ryan Garcia was. He said, man, he's slow. Man, no, he's slow. Man, he's slow. So Tank was saying how he could see Ryan's punches coming basically a mile away. He could see the punches dropping. And uh, I thought that was really interesting because going into the fight, I thought Ryan was faster, but I thought Tank had better timing. You know, Tank was is like a sharpshooter, but I thought Ryan was faster. But most definitely, a few things that got exposed in this fight was that Tank, for one, is not just some brute. Uh, he's a thinker in the ring. Uh, he is does have a high boxing IQ, and he, he's more than just a puncher. We know he can punch, but he also can set stuff up. Um, he got good patience. High ring IQ by Javante Tank Davis. All right, so it's going to make for some interesting fights in the future if uh, Tank is a man of his word and he does go after uh, the winner of um, – you know, what well, he said he wanted Devin Haney. That's what he said before this fight. But Tank has said that before, and he hasn't done it. But he said he wants Devin Haney. Uh, he said he wants Shakur Stevenson. I don't think the Shakur Stevenson fight is realistic. I don't think it's going to happen. i seen as though Shakur just got to 135. But I can see the Devin Haney fight happening. If Devin Haney gets past Vasil Lomachenko, um, I can see them guys fighting at maybe a catch weight or at 140. All right? Uh, but y'all let me know what y'all think of Joe Goosen. He still hasn't come out, to my knowledge, Joe Goosen still hasn't come out and explained why he wasn't at the uh, post-fight press conference. We've heard from Bernard Hopkins. We've heard from Oscar De La Hoya with their excuses. And All Access also didn't show nothing about um, um, Oscar's security team telling him we got to get out of here, you know, like it's some hostile environment. We didn't see none of that. Y'all let me know what y'all think. 78 Sports TV, salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash the like button on the way out. I'm about to hear deuces.